So today we had the group of students kind of brought them in, talked a little bit about what Coors Tech is and also just in general about what technical ceramics are. We have a presentation and now we're going around to different stations showing about the different ways to make ceramics and also the different properties of ceramics. At my station we're taking a raw alumina powder and uh, showing how we spray dry it into something we can really use to make parts. And then we, we take this spray dried powder and walk the kids over to the 80 ton press and make uh, plates uh, right, right there, right in front of them and they get to play with them and break them right afterwards. At my station, we're using a scanning electron microscope to look at these structures at 10,000, 20,000 X. In addition to looking at ceramics, I also have a few surprises for the kids, and I'm showing them dust mites, and there are lots of little features on bugs, hairs on legs, so it's really cool, and they're really excited to see these images. At my station today, we're learning about a ceramic process called tape casting and for fun they get to take some tape and make a Christmas ornament that they can take home after we fire it for them. In this room what they're seeing is uh, the equipment that we use for determining some of the physical properties testing. What we've done is we've taken one of our frames and taken just a soda can, set it up in there and we're going to see how much weight we can put on it before it begins to crush. And then to finish it off, we just go ahead and let the frame go all the way down to about 8,000 pounds and squash it flat like a pancake. And yeah, they really get a kick out of that. So if you look at where technology is going, if we want to develop that and lead that development, we really need to generate the next generation of engineers. And we've got to go light that passion in them and help them see that vision for what the future looks like.